may have noticed these large metal cabinets near intersections around the county. These are traffic control cabinets. Each one is equipped with a signal controller and other vital intersection equipment that manages traffic flow. The Florida Department of Transportation has been considering placing traffic cabinets onto risers in an effort to protect them from flooding. However, it was unknown whether the cabinets would withstand hurricane force winds when lifted off the ground onto the riser. Last month, FDOT constructed a cabinet riser at their fabrication shop in Lake City. Nassau County agreed to assist with testing the newly designed cabinet by pouring a concrete slab and providing a surplus traffic control cabinet. Representatives from FDOT and their consultant, DRMP, visited Nassau County on January 11th. Our traffic signal specialists, Chris Dixon and Matt Hayes, were there to assist. To test it, the group utilized a pulley system with a meter that measures how much force is being applied. That force is then translated into wind speed. First, the group tested the cabinet in its original location on the ground and determined it was able to withstand winds of up to 150 miles per hour. However, when they added it to the riser, it could only withstand winds of approximately 84 miles per hour due to the design of the mounting plates. FDOT reps removed the riser and returned to their fabrication shop where they redesigned the mounting plates. The group returned to Nassau County this week and a new test was performed. Not only did the new system meet the 130 mile per hour requirement by FDOT, the group continued to apply pressure until they reached a speed of 155 miles per hour. Overall, the test was a great success. Once FDOT made adjustments to the mounting brackets, the cabinet not only withstood hurricane force winds, it held up so well that the concrete pad actually came up from the ground. Great job to everyone involved.